Okay guys, today we're going to focus in on print lettering. I'm going to show you how to do regular print and then I'm going to come back and kind of jazzy it up a little bit so you guys can see how it looks when it's really uh, applied right. So I'm going to go ahead and put my guidelines down, three horizontal guidelines. Now watch my fingers guys. I'm going to go ahead and just write this name out. And print normally is um, all capital letters and you can definitely do um, lowercase if you feel like it. But that's simple. Just Mike, M-I-K-E. Then I'm going to come back over it and do a drop shadow. Again, of course, not pulling back all the way on that airbrush trigger. And just taking my time guys and just going ahead and um, keeping the design pretty simple. Now here I go again, I'm gonna go ahead and, and do Mike again. And this one, I'm gonna kinda of jazzy it up a little bit. So as you, as you see, I'm going ahead and uh, adding a couple um, lines at the ends of each letter just to kind of give it a little bit of technique. We're going to go ahead and drop that that drop shadow in again. Definitely on one side. Now print letters are really really cool you know if you're working with um, an area that demands a small space and you have to fit a lot of letters in print is definitely one of the um, tools or techniques that you want to be able to do lettering in. Now I'm going to kind of go do some design work around it. I'm going to go ahead and put a little box around it. And I'm going to kind of um, accent the edges with a little scribble work. And this kind of just gives it more of a raw feel something as simple as putting a box around. I'm going to go ahead and do a drop shadow around the box, add some uh, definition. And guys, I just took a piece of paper and I'm going to use that as a stencil. And I just took a piece of paper and I just uh, ripped it. And you can see how I have uh, a nice little re reflection technique or design or effect. And that's Mike, guys, M-I-K-E with normal print letters. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So the next design, I'm going to go ahead and focus in on just doing some nice cursive script. Go ahead and draw my guidelines on. And I want you to, I, I throw these guidelines on there so you guys can get kind of comfortable after a while. You don't have to do them. But th this is a, a, a good technique on making sure your lines are straight. So Zakia, Z-A-K-I-Y-A. -A. We're going to do that in the normal script. And then I'm going to come back in and do a, a real light drop shadow. Throw a little hard over top of the eye. The next thing I'll go ahead and just throw a circle around it just to kind of encase everything. Throw some small flares just to kind of throw some design work in there, make the design pop out a little bit. And then I'll overlap that swirl at the bottom, add a little bit of definition and design work. Throw some drop shadows on these. Of course, the bling, the star, the famous airbrush star. Throw a couple little flares and highlights around it. And there we have it, guys. A custom name design script. Real simple, real easy. So we did print and then we just did script. Let's move on to the next one. 